The next cylinder of success is positioning or your lane. Your lane is where your personal velocity is at its highest. And this can be your industry, it can be your field, or it can be a new path that you create. All vehicles are built for different purposes. And each vehicle needs to define where its personal velocity is actually at its highest. For instance, a Hummer will beat a Ferrari on an off-terrain track. But a Ferrari will beat a Hummer on any straightaway or a racetrack. I don't believe that anyone is a failure. However, I do believe that we fail when we end up driving in the wrong lane. Sometimes all we have to do is repurpose ourselves and find the lane that best suits us. And then that is when we will find success. The objectives of this section are to help you articulate what you want to be number one at and explain how you actively practice it on a weekly basis. Positioning is about identifying the one or two things that you want to be your best at. And notice that I stress your best. It is possible to be your best at something without being the best. And it's possible to be the best at something without being your best. In order to achieve a particular position, practice is required. Malcolm Gladwell talks about the 10,000 hour rule, stating that in order to become an expert at something, you need to practice at least 10,000 hours, which equates to 20 hours a week, 50 weeks a year, for 10 years. There's a false notion in society that people are born successful, when in fact it is actually practice that sets them apart from their peers. Almost everyone who has become great at something made a conscious choice at some point in their life to become great at that thing. Very rarely do you find someone become great at something without ever putting any thought or stating to themselves that they want to be great at that particular task. This is your opportunity to define your greatness, to define your position in the Guinness Book of World Records. You will be in the Guinness Book of World Records for two things. One, for being your best self because no one else can do it better than you. And two, for everything that manifests as a result of you being your authentic self at all times. Here's my positioning. I'm committed to being the best purpose finder that I can possibly be. Therefore, I will practice every day by sharing my inspirational thoughts via tweeting, blogging, and vlogging, reading quotes, blogs, and books related to purpose finding, and every week, I commit to gathering two or more people to talk about life and the pursuit of purpose and creating something that will help people align their lives with their purpose. Now, I don't know too many other purpose finders. Therefore, I'm creating a lane that didn't already exist. But I believe that if I continue to do these things on a weekly basis and continue to practice, that I will be the best purpose finder that I can be over time.